Want to do your Bybit taxes fast? Simply import your transactions securely into Coinly and let Coinly calculate your staking, your derivatives, your capital gains and losses, and more accurately and easily. And before we jump in, the information in this video is for educational purposes only and is not tax, financial, or legal advice. Also, the examples I mentioned might not exactly match your situation. So as always, speak to a qualified professional if you're looking for tax advice. Hello, my name is Nelly, and in this updated video, I'm going to show you how to do your Bybit taxes. Bybit is one of the largest platforms by trading volumes, known for its wealth of features like derivative trading, leverage tokens, OTC trading, and lots more. But if you're making sweet gains with Bybit, you gotta pay taxes. So Coinly is your crypto tax calculator that can help you do your Bybit taxes fast. Now, in order for Coinly to calculate your Bybit tax liability, you simply need to import all your Bybit transactions into Coinly, which is super easy. So first step, as always, sign in to your Coinly account. If you don't have one, don't panic. You can create one completely free and follow along until the very end. Okay, once you've logged in, head over to the wallets page and click on add wallet. And then we're going to find Bybit. And there it is. As you can see, there are two different options. I'll show you both starting off with the setup auto sync. So for the setup auto sync, there are quite a few restrictions, which I want to go over right now. So the first one is the API does not provide transactions from the last three days, but these transactions will be fetched at a later time. Conversions trades uh, made in the last year are sometimes missing from the API. The API does not provide access to bot trades or copy trading. Bybit API keys will expire after 180 days, so new keys are needed. Uh, need to be generated uh, regularly. And then lastly, API can take a few hours to sync due to the rate limitations. And then one final note here about sub accounts. If you use sub accounts with Bybit, you will need to import this data as well. Uh, if using API, create separate API keys for each sub account, add them to separate Bybit wallets here on Coinly. So please check your transfers between the main account and your sub accounts as these may need to be added manually. Okay, so going into Bybit, we're gonna go obviously to our account and in the top right corner, there's a little profile icon. We're gonna hover over that. And then from the drop down menu, we wanna click on API management. From there, we want to click create new key. Then it will ask us if we want system generated API keys or we want the self generated API key. We want the system generated API keys. Okay, then we want to name our API key. I'll call it something very simple. I'll call it Coinly. And we want to make sure that API uh, key usage selected is API transaction. And then scrolling down, we have the API key permissions. We want to make sure that read only is selected along with no IP restriction. And then from this list, we want to make sure everything is selected. So unify trading, make sure all of the read only stuff is selected. And then we're going to scroll on down and make sure assets as well is selected. So once we click submit, we're gonna be asked for um, two different verifications. One is the email and the other is the 2FA. So make sure to enter those codes and then click next step. Once you have that, you'll be presented with a key and a secret copy and paste the key and secret into Coinly. Okay, so that's one um, method done. If you'd like to go down the CSV route, we're gonna back out and we're gonna click import from file. And this one also has some notes here. So Bybit does not provide the following transactions through the self import. So earn transactions that are more than two years old, transactions prior to 0101 2022, or sorry, 2020. And lastly, if you have any older transactions than this, then we recommend contacting Bybit support to request a full transaction history. Okay, to get this information, you're gonna need two different files. Um, one is the asset change details for all accounts, and the second one is the transaction log. Okay, so firstly, we want to download the asset change details file. So um, what we wanna do is copy and paste this link. I'll leave it in the description down below, and let's head over there. Okay, once we're here under the account change details, make sure that all the subtypes are selected. Then scroll on down and select a date range that's appropriate for you. So make sure to set date ranges for full years. And if you do need several files, that's perfectly fine. You might need one for each year. Just make sure to get your entire 
history. From there, we're gonna click the export button and once you've generated that, it will come in a zip format. You just have to unzip it um, and then put it into Coinly. Obviously, you'll need to do this, like I said earlier, for each year you've traded on Bybit since I believe there is a limitation on the date range to be only one year. And if you need assistance on zipping the file, I'll leave that link down below as well. Okay, the second file you need is the transaction log file and there's another link that'll take you right where you need to go. So I'll leave that down below as well. So copy and paste that and let's head over there. Okay, for this one, the date range thing is a little bit different. So you can only select up to six months. So you might need two just for one year. And then if you have multiple years, you might need you know a bunch of files. So that's a little bit uh, annoying, but it is what it is. So once you've selected a date range that's appropriate for your needs, we want to export and download that file. So then we want to import that file into our Bybit wallet in Quenly. Just make sure it's the same wallet where you've imported your asset change details as well. And obviously, like I said earlier, repeat this process um, for as many years as you've traded on the platform. So you might need a bunch of these files, which um, might take you a few minutes, but it's not really a big deal. Okay, let's talk about missing data. If your consolidated um, statements do not contain your full transaction history, then you will need to export some of the single statements as well. And you can follow those instructions in Bybit's export guide, which I will leave down below. If for some reason you are unable to export all of this history from the UI, then you may once again need to contact the Bybit support team to request the remaining data. And then last note here, I already said um, earlier the sub accounts note, but you should import all files from your main account and sub accounts to the same wallet in Quinly. If you decide to create separate wallets for each sub account instead, you will need to add transfers between them manually. So you'll just be adding an additional step that you don't need. But there you have it. That's how you import your Bybit data. You can head over to the transactions tab, just double check underneath the hood, make sure if everything is sitting correctly with you. If you do have any staking, make sure that stuff is tagged correctly. Uh, send to pool, send from pool. We made countless videos on that. Okay, if you've traded on other exchanges and wallets, which you probably have, you're gonna wanna repeat this simple process and connect them all. And luckily, Coinly integrates with over 800 platforms. And if you ever need a hand, we upload new integration videos weekly. So now with all your transactions imported into Coinly, we are able to view all your crypto transactions to accurately calculate your capital gains, losses, and income from crypto. This also includes DeFi's, airdrops, staking, etc. If you have done any staking or liquidity providing, then you may need to tag those transactions manually. And like I mentioned earlier, I will leave a link to our staking and liquidity videos down below and in the top right corner of this video. Okay, now you can head over to the Coinly Reports page and you can see how your year stacks up with a free summary showing your crypto totals for the year. The summary is awesome, but to officially file your taxes, you're gonna need a lot more detail. So now for the best part. Coinly produces a stack of cryptocurrency tax reports that cover your year's activity in great detail. This includes calculations and totals that line up with how the tax man wants it. We support over 1 million investors around the world with reports like the IRS Schedule D and Form 8949, plus a report for TurboTax, Tax Act, the UK, Australia, Canada, France, and a complete tax report for just about everyone else. Simply buy a plan from Coinly and download your report. You can file your taxes yourself, or if you work with an accountant, you can share it. Or you can even invite them to your account to Coinly. Lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this report might be deductible. I will leave a bunch of resources down below if you need further assistance with our product. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or on our forum section where users and Coinly support team are ready to jump in.